Good morning, everybody. Kurt Risch here, and thanks for joining us on One Shepherd. So today we are continuing with our reading of the Old Testament book of 1 Kings, chapter 10. Now when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to test him with hard questions. She came to Jerusalem with a very great retinue, with camels that bore spices, very much gold, and precious stones. And when she came to Solomon, she spoke with him about all that was in her heart. So Solomon answered all her questions. There was nothing so difficult when he came that he could not explain it to her. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all the wisdom of Solomon, the house that he had built, the food on his table, the seating of his servants, the service of his waiters and their apparel, his cupbearers and his entryway by which he went up to the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. Then she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in my own land about your words and your wisdom. However, I did not believe the words until I came and saw with my own eyes, and indeed the half was not told me. Your wisdom and prosperity exceed the fame of which I heard. Happy are your men, and happy are these your servants, who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, who delighted in you, setting you on the throne of Israel, because the Lord has loved Israel forever. Therefore, he made you king to do justice and righteousness. Then she gave the king 120 talents of gold, spices in great quantity, and precious stones. There never again came such an abundance of spices as the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Also the ships of Hiram, which brought gold from Ophir, brought great quantities of almug wood and precious stones from Ophir. And the king made steps of the almug wood for the house of the Lord and for the king's house, also harps and stringed instruments for singers. There never again came such almug wood, nor has the like been seen to this day. Now King Solomon gave the queen of Sheba, all she desired, whatever she asked, besides what Solomon had given her according to the royal generosity. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. The weight of the gold that came to Solomon yearly was 666 talents of gold. Besides that, from the traveling merchants, from the income of traders, from all the talents of Arabia and from the governors of the country. And King Solomon made 200 large shields of hammered gold, 600 shekels of gold went into each shield. He also made 300 shields of hammered gold. Three minus of gold went into each shield. The king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round at the back. There were armrests on either side of the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the armrest. Twelve lions stood there, one on each side of the six steps. Nothing like this had been made for any other kingdom. All King Solomon's drinking vessels were gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were pure gold. Not one was silver, for this was accounted as nothing in the days of Solomon. For the king had merchant ships at sea with a fleet of Hiram. Once every three years the merchant ships came, bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and monkeys. So King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. Now all the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Each man brought his present articles of silver and gold garments, armor, spices, horses, and mules at a set rate year by year. And Solomon gathered chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen, whom he stationed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. The king made silver as common in Jerusalem as stones, and he made cedar trees as abundant as the sycamores which are in the lowlands. Also Solomon had horses imported from Egypt and Kiva. The king's merchants bought them in Kiva at the current price. 
Now a chariot that was imported from Egypt cost 600 shekels of silver, and a horse 150. And thus, through their agents, they exported them to all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Syria. Guys, that's it for our reading of the Old Testament book of 1 Kings, chapter 10. Thank you so much for joining us. You have a great day, and God bless.